Hey guys, welcome back. So today's vlog is my 40 week pregnancy vlog. Um, like I said last week, I was pretty sure I was going to make it past my 40 week, my due date. Um, and so here we are. My due date was yesterday and obviously there was no appearance of a baby. So we're here today to have a chat about my 40 weeks. A few exciting things happened this week. I had an appointment on Friday. So that was what, four days ago. Um, basically that was my 40 week checkup. They checked everything, everything looks fine. Um, but they do set an induction date on the 40 week checkup. So we've had, we've had an induction date. <laughs> so we've had an induction date set for the 29th of July, which means that is the very last day I can possibly be pregnant. That is the very last date that I'll have to be waiting to meet our new baby. Um, so I'm very excited to have that um, in mind. Um, the midwife did say she didn't think I was going to have to need to be induced, but at least we have a very final, like a final date for when the baby will definitely be out. At that appointment, my blood pressure had risen a little bit. It was 120 over 80, whereas it's been, I think, 100 over 60 for the last couple of appointments, um, which is still apparently in the healthy rate, but she was a little bit, not alarmed, but she was a bit, but she did say it had increased a little bit. So that was just something to keep an eye on. Uh, so that appointment went pretty well. There was nothing um, to be concerned about. It was just exciting that we got to set our induction date. After our appointment at the hospital, we did go to the shops quickly and I got the final couple of things for the nursery. I have I am uploading in a nursery too. I'm not sure if it got before or after this video, so you may have already seen it. So the mobile came in on Friday, and then there was just, I need to get the toy basket and a linen basket, for, uh, laundry basket for him. So we got those on Saturday, and the room was finished. Um, I filmed a tour, which hopefully you've either seen or are about to see. Um, but I was just so happy to get it done before he actually arrived whenever that will be. <laughs> um, I also bought a few pairs of sh pants for him, which I'll show you in a second, and then one other thing as well. Um, what else? The other exciting thing is last night I did lose my mucus plug, which is gross, but <laughs> it's what happens. Um, that happened, yeah, that happened yesterday. I was, you know, waiting around all day. We didn't do anything yesterday because it was my due date, so I just wanted to sort of sit on the couch and relax, which we did. Um, we watched a couple of movies and took it pretty easy. Good girl. And then about, well, I think it was between 10 and 10.30, we were about to go to bed, and I felt like a glug and had a look, and there it was. So that was good. That's just, you know, one step closer. It doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to go into labour right now, but at least we're closer to that. Than we were before. I've been really, I've been really, really sore down there. Like everything is sore. It's, everything just feels bruised. It feels swollen. Everything is just, you know, it's not like super painful, but it is uncomfortable. And I'm looking forward to that all finishing, um, which obviously won't be for <laughs> a few weeks. But um, I'm sort of getting to the point where I'm over that. I did have, I did get a hemorrhoid with Taylor after I gave birth to her. I was having trouble with hemorrhoids. Um, for the next couple of weeks afterwards, um, they did clear up eventually. But last week, I did find that I did did find that the, it had resurfaced um, for a day, and then it sort of went away again. So that looks like it's a problem I'm going to have to deal with again after the birth of this baby. Um, so we'll see how we go. Not the funnest thing in the world, not the most pleasant thing in the world to talk about, but it is you know part of childbirth and part of pregnancy. So I'm actually surprised that I survived this long before survived. I'm actually surprised that I made it this far along in the pregnancy before the hemorrhoids made themselves apparent again. Um, I was expecting them to show up much earlier on in the pregnancy, which so I've had a good run really. Um, my skin, I've noticed that although my blemishes have not been as bad this week, um, I had no makeup on the other day and I was looking in the mirror <clears throat> and I noticed that, um, the, I'm not sure what they call it, but the, the mask of pregnancy or something like that where you have hyperpigmentation over your whole face, um, I've noticed that was really bad, especially in my chin area. Um, actually, my whole face really. I do tend to conceal my chin area more so than anything else, but my whole face. I do have freckles and obviously I do have a problem with um, acne and whatnot, but so my face isn't, my skin tone is not 100% clear anyway usually, but I did notice that there's a lot of hyperpigmentation, especially around my chin area, um, which I didn't really notice until recently. So I don't know if it's been there the whole time and I've just not noticed or if it's just become a bit worse this last couple of weeks, but definitely, um, Definitely experiencing that. Um, sleeping's been a little bit better now. Um, I've still, you know, not fallen asleep before midnight most nights, but it's only sort of, I feel like I'm falling asleep around 1, 1.30 rather than 3 o'clock in the morning. Um, so that's been good. I've been getting enough sleep. 
um, and the heartburn, although it's still present, it's been a little bit better. What is that? Oh, it's a car. Um, the heartburn has been a little bit better. I had a donut the other day and, and the indigestion that I had was horrible. It was awful. I just, I felt like I couldn't even breathe. Like it was that bad. Um, but I only had it after that donut. So it must have just been the doughiness of it. I don't know. Um, but I am well and truly over heartburn and reflux and indigestion, all of that kind of thing. I'm very looking forward to that being over in the next few days, hopefully. Um... What else? I'll just show you a couple of things that I did buy. Um, I'll start with, this isn't very exciting, but I did buy a nipple protector for when I'm breastfeeding. Um, with Taylor, I did end up with one. It wasn't really a cracked nipple. It was more just grazed, but I did find that having a nipple shield helped just to sort of give it a little bit of a break when she was trying to, when I was trying to breastfeed her off that boob. Um, and I really wanted to get one of these to have on hand because the one that I used with Taylor I obviously threw out after I was finished with it and it was all kind of it was breaking up and everything so got a pair to use this time in case I had the same problem they were on sale so I got a really good deal but I didn't want to spend a lot of money because if it was going to be as bad as last time it wasn't that bad and I didn't want to spend you know $30 plus um, for something that I might only use for a couple of days or not at all hopefully um, but these were I think $14 at Big W and then they were they had a few dollars off because they were in some kind of sale or something so I think I spent around $10 on them so that's fine I can that's <laughs> I think that's worth it for you know if I need to use them so they'll be going I'm just going to sterilize them this afternoon and then they're going to go into my hospital bag um, hopefully I won't need them at the hospital I don't remember getting the grazing with Taylor until sort of maybe the following week after she was born um so hopefully i won't need them in hospital but at least i'll have them in case i do um and then i bought him a few pairs of pants like i said um these were all from cotton on baby i think but actually one's from one pair's from big w but cotton on cotton on kids and then the cotton on baby brand they had a sale on so i grabbed a couple of things i think these were two for twenty dollars or maybe around about that anyway um, and I got zero to three and then a couple of newborns so these ones are the pattern ones that I got um, they're just like a charcoal bluish color Oops. The color? They're just like a charcoal color and they've got letters on them they're just leggings um, and then they've got a little pocket on the boom which I thought those were quite cute and then also I got these little white pair with um, I think they're black black triangles and the coral um, cuff down the bottom my husband was a bit like is that pink down the bottom is that the dung thing for a boy but um, there's a lot of this in the cotton on kids boys range so and I think it's really cute I like it um, and they also have the little pocket on the bum those were cute and then these ones are just sort of basic uh, basic little blue cotton leggings so I got a newborn pair and I got a zero to three month pair because I feel like they will go with a lot of I wanted to get some plain ones because he's got quite a few patterned t-shirts um, and I'm sure there'll be days where I don't want you know pattern on pattern all the time so those will be good and then lastly these ones came from Big W these were um, a newborn size and I think they were only like I don't know less than five dollars maybe and again they're just na uh, navy blue um, with a pocket and they are yeah like I say newborn from the dimples range so they will be good. I noticed the other day that I had lots and lots of t-shirts for him and lots of onesies but no pants. So I was like, what's he going to wear with his t-shirts? So, <laughs> you know, at least we're sort of there now. That'll be, that's good to know that we're organized with that. Um, I also am going to add something else to my hospital bag. I just remembered. Um, I'm going to take with me Taylor's um, baby book, which had all her measurements and weights and things in it, just because I... Will be I'm sure I'll be interested to sort of compare her stats with his stats when he comes out. I um, I can't remember most of them, but there are certain things like her head circumference I don't remember off the top of my head, and like her um her weight I always I always mess up her weight, not her weight sorry her um her length. I know she was seven pounds seven, but I'm always I always forget how long she was and her um just all that kind of thing just to sort of be able to see how he compares to her. Um, after the birth so I'm going to put that in my hospital bag as well today so that if I'm curious after the birth and I can't wait till I get home then I've got it there because I think that will be really interesting to see what how they compare as brother and sister. Um, Taylor is sitting on the floor next to me in case you can hear her. She okay so I'll just show you a bump shot and then that will be it for today's vlog. Okay so hopefully this is the final bump shot. I'm in my pyjamas today so <laughs> don't be allowed. 
<laughs> Sorry, Taylor's like at my feet. And there's that way. I feel like he's dropped. So that's everything I wanted to talk about with you this week. Um, hopefully, hopefully this is my last pregnancy vlog, but if not, I'll be back next week, I suppose. Um, go check out the nursery tour. I hope you like it. I really, I re I'm really happy with how it turned out. So hopefully you guys think it looks nice as well. But yeah, that's it. So until I see you next time, hopefully with a baby. Um, hope you have a great week. I'll see you soon. Bye.